This is not my red wine. Ah, this is my red wine for a red wine and pizza Friday. Oh, I turned the camera on. Uh oh. Hello, folks. Welcome to another show of the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom, and you caught me on our Red Wine and Pizza Friday. Well, I guess I'll finish this off. Uh, red Wine is so good. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You can also email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. And this is the day that I watched the best wrestling around. Because it's Lucha Underground time, folks. Woohoo! And always, again, with Lucha Underground, I'll get right to the show because there's a lot to show and a lot to talk about. Let me do a quick two minute recap. They talk again, really, they only spend two to three minutes talking about the stuff that's going to happen on the show. So it's really good, it's really pertinent. Uh, again, the recap with the rebirth of Phoenix. Ricky Mundo comes into play. And a little bit about Marty the Moth Martinez. So, to begin with, we have a new band this time. We have, I don't know what they're called, but they're the LDOD House Band. And eventually, I do have to make a gif of that somewhere. A couple things I have to make a gif of, I think. Next couple days. But it starts off with a Taya promo. Again, oh. Taya wears the best outfit. Get those butt cheeks. Again, things I can say without my girlfriend present. My girlfriend right now is currently off on assignment. She is a world renowned photographer. I'm just a hobo. But I do love her a lot. The title kicks off a promo. Something to say. Pay attention. Antonio Cueto, you piece of shit. Oh, wow. Get your old ass out here right now. Taya has every right to be pissed. Her wedding was ruined. Six weeks of being on the shelf will make anyone order. is back. And all healed up, I see. <laughs> healed up? Yo soy la güera loca. And I came here to fight. Your son ruined my wedding. Send me and my husband to the hospital and two of my friends and tonight I'm going to sacrifice him I demand a match with the monster Matanza Cueto right now you're a woman that knows what she wants Is Ty done with Lucha Underground? That was kind of up in the air tonight. But no, instead, we have a match with Ty Valkyrie versus the man who spoiled her wedding. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And of course, that person who scorned her was Matanza. And this was a fun 
amazing opening match. I mean, Ty gets some good stiff kicks with tons of no-sells like he should. I mean, it's just a really fun, good match. Oh, wow, real secret. Your weight there, if you could sink that choke in, Taya had to let that hold go. I think Matanza's neck was just too big. Was that a double kick to the doubles? Yes. Whoa. I mean, again, Matanza's no selling. Taya's really trying hard to kind of avenge. Ty is upset. So that shows. And she can take a pretty good stiff bump. I mean, for the most... This was an amazing first match. For a match like this, that I don't think it lasted that long. This was a cheeseburger quality match. And of course it ended, her husband got involved. Johnny Mundo returns! Will Johnny Mundo be sacrificed? Indeed. Many people sacrifice, but for me it's, it's kind of hard to imagine a Lucha Underground without Taya. Wait a second! Mundo returning. And now you have to believe that wherever Ty is, Johnny isn't too far behind. We haven't seen Johnny in nearly two months. Tonight he returns to protect his bride. To go toe to toe with the monster. You have to admire that, man. I, you, you better believe it, man. I just wanted to cuss my heart out. God bless Johnny Mundo. I hope he beats his head to a pulp like an Italian lady making spaghetti sauce with fresh tomatoes. Moonlight drive from Johnny Mundo. Starship pain the of oh, the end of the world. Again, overall, this was, again, the cheeseburger quality match. It was a really fun match, even though it did end with a disqualification. And the thing with disqualification DQs in Lucha Underground is that they're so rare, so far between, it actually means something. So it's a, it's a good thing in Lucha Underground. It's like, whoa, it was so extreme. Even Lucha Underground couldn't handle it. And then our next match, we have, I mean, this was just an amazing action-packed card. And it was a tornado tag match. It was Azteca Dragon Jr. And the Mac versus Mil Muertes, the Man of a Thousand Deaths, versus Phoenix. Or as I call him, Dark Phoenix. And, oh, wow. I could not believe the stuff they did in this match. 
Mill is such a beast. Melissa is so unenthused about announcing Phoenix. It starts off as a free for all. Mill is just so strong, so strong. Phoenix shows off amazing rope work. I mean, the Mac with Kip Ups. I mean, oh, God, was so good. And then, of course, the Mac and Mill went toe to toe. They're going to be facing off in Ultima Lucha 4. I mean, Mill and Phoenix are, are working together, but, but, but there's tension between the two of them, and, and you see that. I mean, there are some, some truly. Oh my god, moments. I'm truly a holy Nikes moment. I mean, there were double stunners, electric chair reverses onto stunners. Stunners for everyone! Phoenix, Phoenix. Dude, he does so much stuff off the second rope. I mean, just amazing stuff. Everyone. This is what a true. The Lay Mignon match should be. I mean, jeez. I mean, it ended. 
with like a muscle buster driver, a flatliner from Mill. I mean, dual pins. And I have no idea what's going to happen because math does not work in this situation. There will be no Dr. Keller showing up for Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground breaks all the rules. It is so amazing. And then we have a Brenda and Famous B promo. Brenda's <laughs> so... She shows up and hits her, her legs like some Las Vegas showgirl. And then Ricky Mundo shows up. <laughs> and Brenda B calls him Ricky Ricardo. Brenda's just funny. She has that that lightheartedness, that that wrestling aspect, that that what, what do I want to call it? That absurdity to wrestling. And then let's lead to a, to a famous V B versus Ricky Mundo match. I mean, Ricky Mundo's vicious. I mean, famous B gets in a few moves. What I mean is a squash match, and it's really short. I mean, again, it's a ham sandwich match. Prendas. <laughs> and then, of course, there's some antics. At the end, from Ricky Mundo. Ricky Mundo is the one. It shows Ricky Mundo unleashing Matanza for the wedding. Oh, wow. Is this going to lead to a Ricky Mundo, Johnny Mundo? Do you to figure out who the real Mundo is? We shall see. Those cowards. Johnny Mundo and Ty already left the building. There you go. So perfect. That's too bad. Because I really wanted to say this to their face. It was me who unleashed Matanza at your wedding. What? <laughs> For years, you treated me like a nobody. You are a nobody. Well, now I'm the somebody who ruined your perfect day. Because, Taya, as long as you're in the picture, Johnny will never respect me the way he should. So, Taya, 
consider this an official challenge. And in case you're wondering what I'm going to do to you at Ultima Lucha, well... Watch this. It's almost oh. as if there's a fatal attraction. Did you just hear that? He threatened Taya and he said, you see what's going to be waiting for you? Watch this. Some... No, 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 no. Look at that. He's bending Brenda all the way back. Brother, he can snap her neck. Somebody's got to get in there and do something. that has descended on the temple and its name is Ricky Mundo. The sick in the head Ricky Mundo has just made a statement by taking out Taya's maid of honor, the beautiful Brenda. I, for one, have no doubt Taya will answer Ricky's challenge for Ultima Lucha Quattro. But folks... And then this leads us to the main event, which, not to take away from anything else, was extremely good and very entertaining, more so than I thought it was going to be. We have Reclusa versus Pentagon Dark. I mean, Reclusa can really hang with Pentagon. I mean, it's really good. Pentagon gets kind of the early edge. <laughs> Takes a butt pump. It was like a power bomb. Onto the apron, but she landed on top, like butt first. Sold it so good. Sold it like she should. Hey, it, again, wrestling is truly the theater of the absurd. So, I mean, you have to take it for what it is. I mean, it was good, though. Dogs, what, did I tell you? what did I tell you? The fans, 
the believers, this is a strange place, man. It doesn't matter what shape or size you come in. People love the fight and the fight and the fighter. Pentagon picks Reclusa up by the back of her head. Now, Pentagon rearranging some of the believers and rearranging the throat and teeth of Reclusa. Pentagon's got to be very careful. So, maybe this is all a trap. I mean, again, they have the classic Zero Miedo chance. And then there was a Cero, the double Zero. I won't show that on YouTube. I promise. I'll try and keep this somewhat clean. My girlfriend told me to do that. She'll honor what my girlfriend says. Although I will have some red wine. Especially when it's Red Wine Friday. On YouTube. I mean, it's so fun. I mean, I think the only thing to do all female wrestlers wear pantyhose? Is that just, is that just like a wrestling thing? Because I know here in Florida, I don't think I've seen any women with pantyhose on. And then north, it's a big thing. That's the north. Maybe it's just... Again, again, you have the Lucha Bowling. I mean, Lucha Underground really does intergender wrestling the best. Where... Not totally vicious. It's not just like a beating... It's not being a woman beater. And I 100% do not endorse hitting, well, 99% of the time, there is absolutely zero reason to, ho to hit a woman. If a woman is chasing you with a knife on the streets of Daytona Beach, maybe. So there's always that weird 1%. 99% of the time, you should never hit a woman. Never. Ever. Ever. Unless it's that weird 1%. Like if they come after you with a tire iron or or sharp object or, or gun or broken bottle. Never, ever, 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 ever should you ever strike a woman. 0%. Well... One percent, and again, that's a really extreme case. But I mean, they do this—they do this stuff so good, where it feels like really a pure wrestling match, and it really feels just like a competition. So, I mean, it's not like you're trying to injure the person, but yeah, I'm trying to win, and I'll be willing to do whatever within the bounds of the rules to do to win. So, I mean, it's good like that. It's, it's not awkward like the Asuka Suzuki. It's not watered down like the WWE. It's that really good middle ground. I mean, that's really good. And oh, that rant and rave about new women. That'll be my public service announcement probably for another couple of months. So. Again, you have to kind of sit and bear with it, but again, only a 1% time you should ever hit a woman. And I've out outlined those already. 99% of the time, never strike a woman. Again, weird things can happen. There's always that 1% outlier chance. So begin. I mean, the leg kicks were good. They sound they sound brutal. I mean, Reclusa gets her own shots, gets her own hits in. Again, really good stuff. Matt Striker is so good on commentary. He really should be number numero uno commentary for Matt Striker. I mean, Pentagon gets a little bit cocky too. He's like, "Yeah, I'm just wrestling Reclusa." 
It's going to be no leg hook. I'm going to go one, two. I didn't get the three. I mean, can you have this here, a double bird? Which I can't show necessarily. Again, I'm trying to be good for my girlfriend's sake. Um, Pentagon hits like a semi packaged pile driver, then hits a packaged pile driver on the apron. Didn't work. Getting really kind of playing it down. It's like, yeah, this is whoever. Um, eventually, does hit a running. Oh, Reclusa actually got a, <laughs> and a groin shot and a Canadian destroyer. Pentagon Jr. had enough wherewithal to kick out that. Pentagon hit a running off the rope package pile driver. It's really good. Then, even though after he wins, it's like, I'm going to tease the arm break, but eh, eh, this is a woman. Under the mat. A wrestling ring too. <laughs> Gets out the bag of thumbtacks. Dumps the thumbtacks on the ground. Teases a package pile onto the driver. But you know what? Marty Marth, the Moth Martinez, comes out and makes a save. Teases what's going to happen at the Cerro Miedo match. There we go. Miedo match. By dousing him with gasoline, having that open flame in the lighter. Could we see flaming tables again? Ooh. And Lucha Underground, this, oh, I forgot to talk about this. A little a red wine. But again, I did manage to get to it, so it's not too much red wine. But this was a surf and turf quality match. So again, really good stuff. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, for Lucha Underground, I please enjoy the few clips I show. You can also like, comment, subscribe, and you can also email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Um, I'll try to do maybe a review Monday. Again, I'm kind of banned from live streaming. 
but I will maybe do a review on the Bound for Glo Glory. Oh, excuse me. Bound for Glory Impact episode. I don't know. I still have to debate. Depends how much work I have to do. I have to really work Sunday. If I was live streaming, I'd kind of do a live stream re reaction on it. But if not, what can I do? So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, myself and my girlfriend are really not that up into impact. Every so often, if I can, I will. I can't. So you know what? I won't. Um, next week, you'll just get my kind of basic reviews. Monday, it'll be Raw. Tuesday will be SmackDown. And Friday, Saturday-ish will be Lucha Underground. Kind of the three major promotions that well, hold my interest. Um, eventually, depending on what happens with my job situation, I might get into Impact and Ring of Honor. That's still up in there. Then you can leave a comment and say, Hobo, Tom, we want to hear what you say about Ring of Honor and Impact. If you so demand it, I shall try. Again, other than that, everyone have a good Red Wine and Friday night. So I'll give my other public service announcements. If you are going to drink, be like Hobo Tom. Drink in the luxury of your own home. Do not go up there and drive. Do not cause chaos behind the wheel. Again, be responsible. And other than that, everyone have a good night and a good weekend. Bye, folks. How do I turn this off now?